OnSong is an app that you want up all the time when you're on stage, but sometimes you may need to leave OnSong to perform other tasks. Typically when you leave an app, it stops running. In this video, we will cover how to keep OnSong running in the background and some ways that you can use this to your advantage. But first, we're going to cover going to sleep. Most of the time when you use your iPad or iPhone, you want it to go to sleep if you haven't used it in a while. This conserves your battery if you forget to turn it off. But when you're using OnSong, you don't want the screen to turn off. By default, OnSong keeps your screen on so that OnSong keeps running. Now, OnSong is pretty efficient and can run for about 10 hours or more with the screen brightness set to 50% and Wi-Fi turned off. But if you don't go back to the home screen or turn off the screen after using OnSong and put it in your gig bag, it can deplete your battery pretty quickly. If you need to, you can change this behavior in settings. Go into the Utilities menu by tapping on the gear icon in the menu bar and then choose Settings. Tap on Display Settings and locate the Sleep Screen option. It's set to Never so OnSung will not allow the screen to go to sleep. You could change it to another time frame to better manage your battery or if you keep forgetting to turn off your device after a performance. One obvious time you don't want OnSong to stop running is if you're playing backing tracks. OnSong is smart enough to keep running if it's playing any kind of audio. This includes backing tracks linked from your iTunes music library, audio files you've imported into your OnSong media library, or songs streamed from your Spotify account. OnSong will also stay running if MIDI is being played back, or if you're running a metronome. Now, if you want OnSong to keep on running, like Forrest Gump, you can. Go into the Utilities menu by tapping on the gear icon, and then choose Settings. Now tap on Live Settings, and locate the Run In Background option. You can see it's set to When Playing Audio. We can tap and choose other options like Never or Always. If you choose Never, OnSong will always shut down, no matter what, when you leave the app. Let's choose Always, which has many more useful applications. Console is a great tool for editing your library on a computer through a web browser. But if OnSong moves to the background, network operations stop, which will prevent you from accessing Console on your computer. If you turn on Run in Background, you can keep on editing even if you're running a different app on your iPad or return to the home screen. You can even turn your screen off. OnSong has powerful MIDI features that can be used to send MIDI to other devices. For instance, you can set a MIDI control to change the master volume of the iPad. To do this, let's tap on the gear icon to open the Utilities menu, choose Editors, and then MIDI. Now we're going to turn a control knob on our MIDI keyboard and we'll see it show up here in the MIDI trigger screen. We can then tap on it and pick the adjust volume action. Now we can leave on song, play a song through the music player, and then use the MIDI device to control the iPad's volume. With wireless MIDI capabilities now in on song, you can do this even if the iPad is not in reach. In conclusion, OnSong isn't going to shut down on you when you need it most, but there are times where you may want OnSong to go to sleep faster, and other times where you want it to stay running in the background. Through a few settings, you can help improve battery life or let OnSong keep running tasks so it can meet your needs. If you have any questions, be sure to contact us at onsongapp.com/support. Thanks for watching.